Pacific Peninsula, the crown jewel of the Pacific Northwest. Its unmatched views and quiet solitude offer everything you need in the most beautiful place on Earth. There is no cause for alarm. Take shelter in the closest pocket of stability in your area, and please refrain from thoughts or memories of me. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. What happened inside was never disclosed. Until now. Welcome to Pacific Drive. Title card? Somewhere? Maybe not. This looks lovely already. AS Express Shipping Manifest. Am I a delivery driver? Deliver, unload, clean. Oh, I am a delivery driver. Okay. The Olympic Peninsula, 1998, south of the barrier wall. <laughs> How did I get in here? Oh, I can look around. Oh, my car is very reliable, right? I wouldn't be doing this job if it wasn't. Wipers on. So I'm in, am I inside the walls or am I just outside of it and I need to get in? 1998, that's a lot later. The way the trailers have portrayed this game, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of horror elements to this, but in a much more kind of mystical, supernatural way. Hopefully nothing too crazy. This game is beautiful. Which way am I going? No, I can't go there. Okay, so I do have to maintain this car, right? Uh, build it, repair it, all this stuff to make my way through the exclusion zone. Oh no, I'm going there. That's what I'm doing. This car is so loud. Okay, wipers, horn, lights, nice. What happens if I don't? Wait, I'm curious. Does it build up? It does. I can still see, though. It's not that bad yet. Is that the wall, though? <laughs> now, the law says I need to have my headlights on if my wipers are on. But if I don't have my wipers on, do I need my headlights on? There's nobody else here. Nobody's going to pull me over. Can I get out in this game? Or am I only going to be in the car? Okay, it's getting bad. Turn it on. You can tell this road is not taken very often. Guardrails all rusty, overgrowth, and the... Yeah, I got the headlights on already. Ooh. Ooh. Tunnels already. Making me feel claustrophobic. High R levels facility. Extreme caution advised. Further inquiries directed to gate C2B. Radiation levels, you mean? I don't know what R levels are. Oh, shit. That's not a good sign. That's like playing, you know, first person as a person and not in a car and then running across skeletons. Essentially, right? Like, I don't have hands. I am the car. And those are my dead companions. Not a good sign for me. Oh. Is that my radio? of all my dead relatives. Same sign. Okay. It's a little unnerving. Is this how we get in? Launch and construction facility ahead. Periodic volume warning. 80 plus decibels next 15 miles? Oh shit. Something is in the woods next to me, dude. All right, carefully over. Warning. It's not very helpful. So if it's been closed off, I'm sent in just to clean up, right? That's my duty. JS Express. What is that? <laughs> I was just going to run over it, dude. That's all I was going to do. Damn, dude. You guys didn't contain shit. Did ya? Oh my god. 
Are they still working on it? Maybe they're looking to... Look at all this stuff rising. They're looking to potentially close it off, like dome it. Christ almighty. Let's just keep going through. I'm gonna keep my lights on. Here, go away. I don't... I actually don't want to touch it now. I have changed my mind. Lots of piping. is ventilation, water. What are you supplying or taking out? peed my car <laughs> and I got sucked in I don't think this is the typical way to enter this place I'm on foot now oh this is the inside dude everything is corrupt get me out of here I'm actually on foot <laughs> this seems bad my screen is telling me this is really bad Hello. Are you my tire? Oh, oops. This is my car. It got completely shredded. There's another one of my tires. Car doors. I can jump. Oh, this is hell. I wonder what kind of confidence the government had about sending me in here. Or maybe they have no idea. I'm just a guinea pig. That's fine. My life probably sucked. I got nobody waiting for me at home. I have no home working this shit job that I knew was going to kill me one day. Okay. Uh, can we go through the piping? Tubing? I don't know if it's hurting me. It says get to safety and find transportation. Yeah, okay. It's e easy. Caution. Uh, thanks for the warning. All right. Just based on the years. Are we talking what I think we're talking about? I have to kick? Uh oh. Someone out there? Hello? Huh. What a swan, eh? Uh, never mind. Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Is this car talking to me? This car's talking to me. There is not another human here. You're a liar. <laughs> Either the car's talking to me or whatever the hell's happening to this place is like trapping moments in time. Put the wheel back on. Okay. Boom! <laughs> Is this my vehicle? There's no way this thing runs. There's no way this thing runs. Did you see what happened to mine? Okay. I trust you. you know, tell me it works. Oh, God. Imagine having to do all this when I'm trying to run from something. That's hey, gonna suck. Oh, signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Do you think that's me? Like, I, okay, I'm confused now. I don't understand. Do I have the same controls? Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Okay, so they're from afar. Never mind. Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? Uh -huh. they, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Is that uh, Steve Buscemi? They're stranded. They no way. Be... They're from outside? They're a preacher. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. <laughs> hey, you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. The closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Okay. Uh, my car is bearing to the right. I need an alignment, dude. This is really bad. <laughs> so they're gonna guide me, I guess, because we don't want the main character to talk to some degree. I do kind of like that. Oh, shit, what is that? Oh, shit, what is that? Is that a car? Few miles east. Okay, drive east. Ah. Uh, siphon fuel. Hey, excuse me. Stop. Oh, this sucks. I kind of want to explore. 
All right, we're going to siphon fuel. How do I do that? There's the gas cap. Uh, check your trunk for a fuel can. Okay. Oh, wait. Ugh. What? <laughs> I didn't see that there. Where did I get the... What? All right, 100%. God, in sticky situations, this is going to be horrible, isn't it? That's all I got? Oh, that's all they had left. Oh, no. Okay, well, at least we can start. Hey, 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 What the fuck is that? No, no, no. I'm not supposed to go this way, I don't think. Whoa, 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 wait, hold the phone. There it is again, that flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that way before, before. Where? No kidding. What could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint. Tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, you know if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Oh, God. Boy, I'm chilled to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. Then back, baby. God damn. What you is this stuff? Shelter, go on and let yourself in. Did I just say the tree is all like alive? Around it there, but better to face what? a bad side than let the zone eat you alive. Okay. Roger that. The trees are alive, though. I don't know if you knew this. Can I just go in? I'm about to bust through this, aren't I? Come on. Ow. Which way? Which way? I said go east, but... Oh, God. Oh, he's auto shot. Oh, oh, my God. This is perfect. What a shelter for a car. There's nowhere to park. Can, can you open up? Hello? Hoppy? Hoppy? Oh, this is not good. Shit. What the hell is in that trash can? No thanks. You know what? Actually, I might need to get out. Locked. Hoppy? Someone? Okay, here we go. Hey. Hoppy? I should have turned my car off. Hold, hold on. Turn car off. Park. We might be safe around here. I don't know why. There's nobody here. I'm not gonna see anybody. Oh, God. Who's there? Oh, the shop. God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Oh, oh my head. That sounds like Jeepers Creepers. You got. Ten seconds to get your ass out of my yard. It's an emergency broadcast. Hello and attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We sent a preacher to your garage on um, an official zone business. Now we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and, well, uh, you saw the remnant thing. She's not going to care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Tell her that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So... Oh. Another breach, Emma. How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Mm, that would Wait. be me. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Get your ass out of my yard! You know what, oh, lady? God, unfortunately, the 
barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Hey. <sighs> oh, what? Oh, you need help? Well, there's a headset yes. somewhere in the garage. Put it on. The built-in diagnostic will tell you what needs fixing up. <laughs> this is cool. Okay. Mechanics eye. Patch yourself up. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. Is that here? No, that's a jukebox. Of course. How silly of me. First aid? Ah, I feel beautiful again. Fix the car. Car repair? Oh, shit. Put the wheel back on? Hold on, hold on. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, this weary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Oh, shit. Search the toolbox for the garage for a pry bar. Okay. I gotta pry it open because it's locked. Mechanics kit. Duct tape. All the required parts to build a nice vehicle, you know? Here we go. And we got plastic and a road flare. Search the dumpster by the garage door of your crucial items you're unable to craft. Okay. Oh, God. What the fuck? Okay. Took a scrapper. Okay, so I can use this thing to then scrap. Nice. Steel sheets and glass shards. From all this material, I could smelt it down. Make myself some nice little uh little doors here. Workbench. Here we go. Okay, crude door. Repair putty. Well, you don't have the time to have resources to perform extensive repairs. This is the spit and tape solution that will carry you through and fix up the worst of things. Oh, I'll probably need that in the future. I mean the door is the most important right now. So we're just gonna attach that. Here we go. I mean, it's a little off balance. Can we put air in the tires? Get the repair putty from the locker. Okay, we got three of them. Spare tire. Can I put that in my trunk? Is that how that works? Oh, that looks beautiful. Steel door. Probably this door as well. Oh. What? This is so cool. It's flat. Thank, thank you for the observation. I really appreciate that because if uh, you blow it, I need a ceiling kit. Okay, did I pick that up? I might have picked that up. I don't think I did. I do have a spare tire though. So let's remove this. Put this back on. Scan the loose wheel. And then I need the mechanics kit, which is right here to then fix it. I did it! This looks fucking awful! That's not good. Sorry, install cardboard boxes. We're gonna put that in here. So now we can store things. I'm gonna need a hood. Install craft mat in the trunk. Well, I mean, I need a, a, a hood. This stuff is just gonna fall out. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. This? Hook it up to your car wherever it'll fit what the fuck is the arc device passenger seat okay whoa this yes. beauty won't just be your tour guide it's your north star and the only way back to safety heck you should consider it the father son and holy spirit if you plan on staying alive that's how important this thing will be to you yes that's my very own invention I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Is it a camera? What is that? Oh, it might be a light. Okay, pick up the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Okay. Whoop. I'm getting all kinds of stuff here. Man, you are a tinkerer. 
Can I store this? I know it's flat, but you know, maybe I can fix it somehow with some putty. Fuel. Right. Definitely need that. Fill her up. We need it. Okay, throw the switch to charge the battery. Oh shit. That's what this is. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. I guess I'm, a, I'm I guess I'm set. Zone. I don't know. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye. And it does. What? Constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get oh anywhere near it. Oh my god. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. The trees are alive. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. <laughs> Hazard types. Physical, radiated, acidic, electrical, strange. Okay. Okay, travel time is three hours. So I'm automatically linked up to this thing on my device in here? Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. You're just trying to get rid of me. <laughs> That's not fair. Can I build more parts though? Like I feel like structural, I need another headlight. Crude headlight, duct tape. I guess I can do this while I go, but I could probably scrap something out here. What is this? Do I even want to know? Probably shouldn't do that. Okay. Yeah. Let's get in the car. I'm not, I don't have a... I have a fucking door for my trunk. All right. Yeah. It tells me what I'm missing here. What's the zoom button? Is there a zoom button? Oh, there is. I need a rear bumper, a front bumper, a headlight, and a door. It's going to tell me where to go. I'm going to take a left. Oh, no, Gandalf. Is it left or right? Left. We're on the road again. I wonder how many times that joke has been made. Probably a lot. This does not look safe. So how did they secure this area? Select next stop. I guess this? Wait. Oh, I see. Okay, just for gameplay reasons. Okay, it makes a new level. I'll keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. Zap when I get too close. The Octavice is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. I see it. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Find and scan the plasma generator. Do I still have that device on my head? I probably shouldn't park in the middle of the road, but there ain't nobody here. Is this you? There it is. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Impact hammer. I need a uh, gas cylinder and two gears. Light housing. Can I scrap that? Just get! Oh my god! Okay, did I get enough to make that? Because that's insane. No, I didn't get it. I didn't get anything. I just got a bunch of scrap metal. Okay. What does limb poison mean? Radio. Look at you! Out in the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be what? back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk, Francis, to These death? These people aren't alive, I guarantee Hello you. to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. What the 
fuck is that? Uh, I don't like it. A little freaked out here. I don't know. Is it, is it because I have to? Oh, got a cylinder. Why do I need an? Imp oh, is it a special type of? Uh, I understand. It's probably all mechanical and ga gas powered for extra damage. Good gears. Nope, but a copper wire. I could make a headlight. Can I make a headlight now? Good headlight. Uh, I need one bulb. One bulb! Consumer electronics. What? Journal fragment. Date unknown. Everyone's checked out of town. At, at this point, I'm the last person left. I'll be gone by tomorrow, too. It's hard to believe this was once a community. Sure, we didn't have much to show for it. Not much to offer visitors. No great sites or famous landmarks. But a few of us lived out here, and we were happy with our lot. And then it seems the government had other plans for us. You no longer live here, they said. Here's your compensation payment, now get out. Their weird secret experimentation zone keeps growing. They barely gave us enough to cover the cost of moving. Now it's time to work out what to leave behind. That's crazy. Can I scrap this? Yes, I can. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Oh, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. The fuck? No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. Okay. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now like I'm SCP, splitting dude. the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. <laughs> I love their dynamic. It's very cartoony, very uh, stereotypical for this type of uh, dynamic, but I like it. Private field notes, Dr. Everett, date unknown. Our time is up, it seems. Uh, and as much as we try, we cannot abandon the zone fast enough. We are leaving so much behind. Each day we are instructed to close another lab and junk everything there, or to mark it for what they call recycling. But we know no such recycling will happen. We may as well loot our own equipment. We dash out the door, leaving our things on the table. Our experiments half finished or logs incomplete. We're creating a ghost town in our wake even a whole series of ghost towns. A ghost nation, if you will. Our own Mary Celeste. A record of our last moments frozen in time. My god. Uh-oh. Is that my border? What the hell? I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Exiting stabilized area? Oh god. Oh god. No bueno. What did I just get? Pockets of stability. Here we go. The roads and junctions of the zone wind through pockets of stability. You'll be reasonably safe on your drive as long as you keep away from the edges. Should you wander too far out of the stable pockets, you'll find that the weather gets very bad very quickly and you won't get far. What happened? What happened then? Can I make gears? I can make gears. Uh, what has teeth and a bite, but no jaw, probably a lot of things. Actually, this gear is one of them. How, how, how do I make it? Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again. So go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities. They've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Okay. Steel sheets. Uh, I'll keep the repair putty in the trunk. Fuel can for sure. I could siphon some stuff, but I'm th I think I'll leave it in there. A similar impact hammer 
and the required gears. Oh, wait, I have a craft map that I can, oh, I see. Okay, so I can make two of them, but I made two gears. That means that now I can make an impact hammer. Yes, okay, I, I, for, it's like Minecraft. You can only make a certain amount of things on your body. Oh, it's in my hand. Oh shit, I didn't realize it replaced the scrapper. Private field notes. So I don't understand. Are these all like containing just remnants of documentation? As we continue to explore viable energy solutions in the increasingly unstable environment that is the zone, we've begun testing the first handheld plasma containment devices. And the zone played with radiation instability, electromagnetic interference, and many as you... And many as yet unexplained phenomena and the infrastructure created for energy transmission has proven to be all but useless since our investigation into the potential of charged and even mag magnetized plasma studying both the conductive and capacitive qualities of the samples we have contained plasma would likely be far more efficient than the diesel and gasoline we've been forced to haul from place to place and if the latest research from the lim tech team is to be believed we may soon have a way to make it just as portable at present, we await updates from Dr. Isid as she finalizes her report on Birkeland currents. Art of management are keen for us to test this technology in the field as soon as possible, but we don't believe it is yet ready. They are, as ever, simply trying to rush research and save money. Understandable. Oh God, there it is. Plasma and some glass shards. Okay. Oh, I need multiple. I see. On to the next one. So I do, I do, I can't appreciate from a game design perspective uh, that you need to separate them in levels and then within those levels have a lot more detailed stuff. But I, I was actually thinking that it was more open world. I guess it still technically is. Uh -huh. What the? Curious. I'm very curious what happens. You good? Ooh. So cool. All right, keep going. Keep going. Whoa. Okay. Sorry, guys. If I'm quick, I should just leave the car running. It's not that bad. That looks interesting, too. What's going on with you? Hello? Oh my god! What just happened? Anomaly. Abductor? Jesus! I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh my god! It's alive! Okay, I'm getting out. See, I should have started the car, left the car on. Okay, that was a little unexpected. How hurt am I? 86%, I think I'm good. Oh, here's a tower. But that means I have to get out near this thing. Okay, how do I equip? Um... Oh, you. You took my fucking hammer. He abducted my hammer. What am I supposed to? Where did I get hit by this guy? He, did he actually take it from me? No way, no way! Dude, I think he took it from me. What the hell are these things? What are they for? Security? This sucks, this sucks, this sucks. I have to make a new fucking hammer. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thank God I have a ton of resources, I guess. There you go. Okay. I can't believe that, dude. He just stole it from me. Hey, for real? How am I supposed to get this? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run back, run back. Holy shit. This is intense. Oh, no, 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 no. I have first aid kits. We're fine. That took a lot longer. I think I wasted a lot of gas. Drive, 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 drive. I see safer options out here. Okay, don't get the car too close. Ooh, I could also scrap for some metal. Maybe. 
Gotta get the plasma thing first though. All right, it's shocking. Charge it up. Materials. I need scrap. I gotta be able to make gear if I lose my thing again. Oh wait, right. I removed it. I was sitting here worried about getting zapped again, but I already removed it. What was that? Anomaly? Oh, the spark tower itself. I need five total, right? All right, zap over here. Yep. Good. Easy enough. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna pods. I've noted its approximate location to your map. Look for a Lights antenna out. tower. Gorilla up radio. On a hill somewhere. That's a good song. Wait, what did she say? God, this place is beautiful. It doesn't seem like a bad place to live if you just, you know, look up. I left my car running again. I got to remember to turn that off. Place parts, gather and craft. Oh yeah, I probably should. Let's uh, turn it off for a second. Let's repair what we can. Uh, I got to make a bulb. So do one bulb and then I can make a headlight. Put that in my hands. And we will shove that in here. Do the crude bumper. Put that on. Everything else is in order, right? Oh, I'm missing the front bumper. What is that one called? Crude panel. Here we go. That is a funky looking headlight. <laughs> That's not right, dude. God, this mechanic is so cool, dude. Pun absolutely intended. The whole concept of maintaining your car like this to this degree and it being simple to do, it's not some simulation thing where you gotta like get your screwdriver out and start taking out bolts or, you know what I mean? It's very simple, it's so satisfying. And I'm assuming later on, we're gonna be able to like build up our cars even more, like stack stuff on top of it, replace it with better materials, maybe even get a better car, I don't know. Look at me getting all excited about car maintenance in a video game, who am I, Dragast? Excellent. We are all good to go. All right, let's avoid that zone. I wish I could break down the rest of the plasma container. I feel like a good amount of scrap metal could be there. Gas overlook and camping. That's where we're headed. There's some green anomaly. Oh, it's the thing. Shit. There's multiple. I'm not sure what to do here. I'm just going to go this way. What does this map say? There's some stuff down that road. I really should go, right? What is that? Is that a... Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, no! Stop. You're a son of a... Stop! What the fuck was that? That's a point I got a mission! Go away. I just fucking ran over someone. Fuck. All right, how damaged am I? A uh, little damage. I'm okay. I can always get re replacement parts, I guess. Should probably collect. Ooh, what is that? What is that? What are you? Oh, this is a gate. Okay. Is this where I came from? It might be where I came from. I can't pull up my map. That radio station's up on a hill somewhere. Eyes to the horizon. I just saw the earth disappear. Can I use a crowbar for this? What the f Did that just come back? Dollar. What is that? Transmission fragment, origin unknown, March 21st, 1961. Yes, Anita. I do agree with you that this is nothing short of remarkable. And yes, I also think what we're seeing here is something new and unique, something unmatched by anything the zone has previously offered up. But I must disagree with your conclusions. Strongly, I strongly disagree. These abrupt, dangerous, grotesque things are one of a host of bizarre new geological phenomenon. They very likely occur in response to ground vibration or local disturbances, and I think that's the end of it. To suggest that they are a deliberate reaction, even a defense mechanism takes our discussion in a very different 
in quite uncomfortable direction. I think we should be reviewing your reports before you submit them. This conversation goes no further, and I'll be scrubbing the transmission logs as soon as possible. Understand? Oh, this is definitely a reaction to the shit that we're doing. All right, let me get this one real quick. There's also a car over here I can scrap. Is that me over here? There we go. Boom. Lasmus, copper wire. Very good. Some duct tape, too. That's nice. This shit scares me, dude. What's inside here? Oh, road flare and batteries. I'll take it. I'll take that door, too. Never go wrong with some more gas. Okay, scrapper. Crap. Boom. We got a brand new one. Easy. As long as I keep it going. I wonder if I could potentially damage this guy. Oh, that's an armored door. Wait. Can I take it? Oh, shit. I destroyed it. There we go. Dumpster pearl? Slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of these apart and who knows what will pop out. Holy mother of God. A crude bumper. I need all of this. I got to put stuff away. Something's making me nervous in that direction. Dumpster pearl. I don't know what it is, but I'm taking it. Is there a way to store this in here from my hands? Yes, I can. Extra bumper, dude. Abandoned squire. What is that? Well, getting a little turned around, newbie. The arc device map will give you a better look at the area. Oh, don't worry. I won't tell anyone that you asked for directions. I didn't. All right, I do have to go forward. There was another car, right? Sorry, I am really into this gathering other supplies and seeing what I can potentially make out of it. All right, now what are these barrels? Do they contain fuel? All right, maybe those are just like road obstacles. Maybe there's nothing to that. Ooh. Oh, okay, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Got a little, okay. We got a little station out here though. What the fuck? What the f What the fuck? Are you just you're just mannequins? Tourist? Dictaphone recording office of Richard Preble circa 1976. Hi, Christina. Hi. How are you? So, um, it turns out you were right. We have reports from several regions of the zone now, and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness, and, um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says, on a roof. We spotted about 600 now. The file catalogs each and every one. Oh, and you're quite right about the other thing, too. Yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So I'm going to be applying our position in Portland now. I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here for sure, but I'm not sure I want to work at Arda full time, you know? It's very strange here. You work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh God, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. Holy moly. I'm gonna pull my car up to the gas station and take, take a little break, get a little snack, you know what I'm saying? Fuel tank is on this side. Any leftover, uh, you know, gasoline? Oh my god. Genuinely? That's crazy. Oh shit, that's been barricaded. Who's in there? Can I get in? I can get in. Shit. Alright, I have a weapon. Not afraid to. What is this? A little workbench? What is that? What the fuck did I just see walking? Ooh, TV. What is that broadcasting? Okay, it's the same thing. Oh, consumer like Oh, I'm breaking you down. Copper wire. This is good stuff. Dude, I'm, um, 
This world makes me nervous, man. What about the vending machine? Can I do something to you? Give me a drink. Ooh, what's this? Trailer. Another limb poison? Arda tool. I'm getting a lot of fabric. That's an interesting, uh... Can't break it down. Here we go, receiver. Is that something new? No, same thing. Break it down. Doesn't make sense. No, none of your notations have made sense. Can't go off too far. I kind of like that, but then I wish I could explore more. This seems like a decent trade-off though. Oh, shit. Yeah, I guess the mechanic, uh, the mechanical kit doesn't allow me to take parts off. Oh my God, I got a door. I will store this. Oh, there's a foot. Something is a foot. Oh shit. How did I miss you? You were not there before. <laughs> you were not there before. Oh my God. Wait, what is that? Thermo sap crystal? Oh no. Oh no. Shit. I should have kicked it is what I should have done. What the fuck is this? Thermostat crystal. How, how do I check what that is? The tolerance this artificially grown crystalline substance has for extreme temperatures and sustained stress is extraordinary. It suggests all manner of mechanical applications. Oh, fuck yes, dude. I'm taking that with me. What did this foot say? I don't know what the foot said. Score. Why is there an eyeball on the big toe? Stop asking questions. All right, I am going to put this in my trunk because it's tiny. And then I'm going to carry this door. That also means I can either run over them with my car or run up and kick them for minimal damage. Okay, that hurts a lot. And I did not get a crystal for that one. What if I blow all you up? It worked. Oh boy. Out of the way, buddy. Damn it. Ah, uh, the radio tower. We're here, but there's a house here first. Okay, what the hell is going on in here? Radiation. Ooh, that's really bad. Black paint. I'll take it all. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my god, dude. I am dying. Jesus. <laughs> Damn near killed me. Get the fuck out of here. Bring cosmetic items back to the garage to equip them. Oh, I got black paint, right. I can cover up all the rust. Okay. Ready to tower. We're here. Oh, I got the... Okay. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. No, 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 no. But you can't get back the way you came. Of course I can. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my arc device comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about lift technology than you need to know. Waypoint arrival road exit road blah 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 anchor signal. Okay. Just down the road. Gotta go down. And here I am on the road again. And here I am. Oh God, my drunk ass should not be driving. Can I just like cut a corner here? I absolutely can, right? Oh my! Oh, I think I'm fucked. Shit. Oh! I changed my mind. Call of the Void does not win today. Dude, what the hell? I swear, every time I was a driving game, man, I'm awful at beware, and I'm already awful with this. There we go. Just bypassed it. Can I get into the container? I probably need more advanced tools to do that. What the fuck is that? Oh. Oh, up the road, up the road. There's a big one, though. To the left up here? Maybe I'll go to the big one, actually. Let's go to that one. It's gotta be at that house. Down here. Whoa, what the hell? Is that is that the point? 
Might be. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't oh, exploded limb. in any way. Limb poison? Face. What did they do? Recently. Okay, we're taking the arc. Are they anchor? is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Um, where do I go? It's like the gateway coordinates on the map. All over here. Storm warning. Drive, drive, driving. You see that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. But there's a house here. No, I should have explored. I was I was not ready to leave. I was not ready to leave. I'm skip. What the fuck? This is awful. This is bad. Oh, what is this? Dude, no. No, it's an armored truck. Okay, just real quick, real quick, real quick. Real quick, right? Oh, what do you got in here? There's stuff. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I just need to, I need to put stuff away. Uh, broadcast transmitter, I can't take. I can't take. What's happening? Shh, no. God damn it. I gotta go. Yeah, this is bad. I should have looked. She said, don't go until I was ready to. There's a fucking armored truck in there, man. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, just, just knock it down. We'll heal. We will heal. We will heal. Whoa. I'm going into this? Shit, I'm spinning out! that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's <laughs> the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your mortals intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. <laughs> we clear? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Sick, dude. Sick. That is cool. Okay, I can use my fabricator now. It's locked, though. Oh, I'll go through this way. It's locked. Oh, an impact hammer for real? Oh, if I had known that's what that was, it would have opened those doors. You should have told me that. There was doors in the place I was at where... Oh, come on. Charge my car. Thank you. Okay, so what is this station? Scanning antenna. I need the broadcast transmitter. Oh, it's it's counting all the stuff I have from my inventory. Nice. Scanning antenna again. I'll hold up my hand. Don't worry. Don't worry. Install the antenna on the roof. Oh well, that, that's not convenient. You get a ladder. Do I have to parkour my way up? I can definitely do that. 
It's all the way up. I'm a dum dum. Jesus. Jesus. I was carrying that in my hand. Dude, I Antenna love that it's like partially made of wood. Clear. Give it a moment to initialize. That's so cool. Now what? Locker. <gasps> Extra stuff. Get the handbrake from the back. Okay, handbrake. That's gonna be nice. Stall in the car. Uh, handbrake. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Yeah, you got it. What's in here? You give me stuff at random? Oh my god. Oh my god, please keep coming. Cargo trunk? I don't know what that does. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. Use cargo trunk to unload collected materials. Oh, I see. I mean, I might need all this stuff, but I think for now I'm going to move it. Okay, crude panel goes here. What else are we missing? Oh, we need a door. So that's going to be a... Uh, is it a crude door? Yes, it is. Perfect. Repair car. There we go. All fixed up. Grab the nozzle to refuel. Put it back. And then I'm missing some items. Store materials in garage storage. Oh, I see. So this is just a carrying case. I need to store stuff in whatever lockers I can find. Damn, I got a lot of stuff, didn't I? There we go. I need a bigger backpack. Okay, so I need a battery jumper. Can I make that at the thing here? Battery jumper, there we go. So as long as it's in the shop, it'll use it. I don't have to carry it on my person. Wait, did that work a little? Oh, it's still rusty though. I prefer the black. There you go, steel door. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Matter deconstructor. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical. The matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. Uh, do be careful not to get your hand caught in the suspension matrix. Okay, so I need how many gears? Four gears. Boom. Where does that go? Oh, right here. Where does this go? Oh, all this space in our garage, dude. Fuck yes. That's so cool. This game is so polished. Is this going to be helpful? Is it anything? What about dumpster pearl? This would be the perfect thing to put in there, right? There it is. Holy Lord. That's so good stuff. Okay, let me get the other dumpster pearl. There's gotta be other things too, right? Yes. Cool. Dude, I have so much. Okay, so what do I need for... I can make this expanded locker. Add new storage lockers for tools, items, and equipment. I need electronics. Okay. Well, that mission will have to be on hold, I guess. Let's just go out into town. I got all my stuff. Like, I really don't need all the extra shit I have stored away. Close this. Let's go. Wait. I gotta pick where I go, right? On the map. Ready to make this remnant verification a one and done thing? I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so. I Your call. see. 
Okay, so what does this icon mean? Um, okay, so I went to E5. Let's go, uh, let's go here. Let's gather some resources, right? Because we're not going to be ready for the thing. Let's see what we can do. Look at that nice looking car. So we're going left. Best to go this way. Vehicle health empty. What does that mean? Oh my God, there's so much here. House up on the left. Reach Sierra. That's my ultimate goal though, right? What the fuck is that? Let's check it out. Not afraid though. I'll whack you. Where are you? The Arctivice needs different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Arctivice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. What did this say? <laughs> hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, oh no. It's happening again. Just out collecting some data from the weather stations. And oh no, there are these new things out here and oh help. Uh, if you touch them, you uh no hold on charlie look i'm not an engineer or a physicist i'm a meteorologist but my guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch and when they hit a car you totally go so fast wait for real should i only when they touch a car though okay that's fair next time i'll run into it or she's lying. One of the two. Oh, there's these guys again. Let's try and avoid them. There's an armored truck there, though. Oh, shit. Whoa, the abductor has a thing. Dear Maggie, once again, I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner, but it's been just crazy out here. I have a few moments right now, so I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind the handwriting being so wiggly, but me and the guys are in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up in a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened, top secret things and all, but we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes, hanging 50 feet above the ground. I'll send this as soon as we get back to the barracks and write you a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while we were waiting. If there's one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. That's sad. All right, let's see what we can get from this thing. Okay, it's not an armored vehicle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know it's a robot, but dude, something so creepy about that. I can't tell what's in here. Shit. I don't think I can get that tire. Yeah. Can't do anything with this. Hey, 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 hey. That was strange. Are we going to that? I'm going to drive down here. I don't. Magic deposit box? What the f living hell? What the f Did you send- Oh, this is what she- Did you send that to me? I think- I think she sent that to me. Oppy. Maybe. I don't know. That's her little, uh, box, though. That's, isn't that what that does? Oh, this doesn't look like a good area. Oh, yeah. Okay, my car protects me from- Hello. Is there anything in here? Ow. Ow. Yeah, the car protects me from radiation. That's kind of welcome, aliens. I want to know what's making that sound. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh oh. Shit, I lost my hammer. I, I lost my. I didn't really. I forgot it was so. You have some, uh gas canisters in here right come on Fuck. really what the hell is that is that ghastly aha gas cylinder 
Okay, so I can make that, right? Yep, just need to make two gears, which I can do for my car. That looked like a rolling head. <gasps> oh, shit. That was upsetting. There's a lot of stuff happening right now. What the fuck? Get off! Dude, for... Broken bunny. Hold on. You messed all my shit up. How bad is my health? I think I'm okay. It looks like it was just trying to pull me. Drop throw. What is going on with the sky? Dude, this place is a little too creepy. I feel like at any moment, there's gonna be something giant, like a robot. It's gotta be, right? What am I hearing? understand what's happening this is fucking beautiful and terrifying all at the same time let me get back to my car i don't know what i just set off but it was not good all right i guess i'm going this way towards that red light oh it's the it's the anchor yeah it's right here what is all this stuff up here though i kind of want to continue i don't want to pick this up yet Oh shit, it's they're like landmines, but they're people. I wonder if I can get up in the Yes, please. I have no light. Transmuter. What the f What the fuck is happening? <gasps> Shit, I gotta go. I gotta go. It's the fucking storm. What the hell? Oh my God. Start the car. No, 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 no. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, it's shrinking. Is this the safe area? Oh, it's still shrinking. What do I do? I should have grabbed the arc and got out. I should have got the arc. Oh my god. Dude. That is so beautiful. I don't know how to feel. I'm gonna die. I didn't realize there was a time limit on being in here. Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Can I go to an arc now? Oh, there's an exit over here. What the fuck? There's an exit. I can make it. I'm gonna live, it's fine. Oh shit, oh shit, this is bad. Shit, go around, go around. I didn't realize it was up there. I was just, I thought I had to avoid it. Oh no. I'm in the open now. The car hood is falling off. Don't touch those things. Vehicle protection compromised. Dude, this is so fucked. Holy shit. I'm almost at the zone. I don't know what this is. Protective zone, maybe? What is that? What is that ahead? What is this? No. No. I don't understand. I thought I wasn't supposed to touch the outer wall. Wait, did I make it? The car was last pinged at. Huh? You're back at the garage. How could that be? Oh, the car got you back somehow. 
very, very interesting. I'll have to observe this further. Uh, did I live by going to that zone, or is this just the restart mechanic? Dude. That's insane. Charge my shit. All right, what are you going to give me? Okay, okay. Okay. Another box, spare tire. Okay, you gave me replacement parts. I can appreciate that. I can absolutely appreciate that. Let me heal. There we go. Holy Christ. Boom. A crude panel for the hood. Okay. Matter regenerator. Give it to me. In my hands. Where do you go? Perfect. Place it right there. God, this is so cool. Recording? Huh? Okay, so can I... Can I take these off and repair them? Ooh, nice. Okay. That's fine. I mean, as long as I can, I can probably make all of these and then you can just keep them in here. Replace them for now, heal a little bit, and then I'll have a whole set kinda, right? Like I'm not, th that makes sense, right? Oh, I don't have any plastics for this. Shit. Never mind. There we go. Okay. I think we're in a decent condition now. We're going. I'm, I'm trying to go towards the story mission. Now that I kind of know that I'm under a limited time, I should have grabbed that anchor as soon as I realized what was happening. Could have put it in my car and then known where to go. I have to go here first. Go away. Holy shit. There's a lot of things here. I'm just traveling through. Don't mind me. Holy shit. Just traveling through. Oh, you know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? You, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. <sighs> this shit. again. Hey, you know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, I had a girl. Oh boy. Hey. Driver, listen, of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants, one of the best. I'll start from the beginning. <clears throat> in 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Interesting. Like SCP stuff, weird anomalies. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a, a sudden interest in model Shit. train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse Shit. until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun. Better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then so did. Anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. I think these are the transmissions that Oppie said would come on a separate frequency that's why i have to like actually press tab to hear it that's kind of cool though i want to hear more of that i wonder how many i missed because i didn't see the notification now what are you 
I wonder if you're already feeling the remnant's effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car, maybe? If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. No, they're special. Like SCPs. We're drawn to them. I'm curious. And I've been walking on my car for so long. Dude! Dude, get off my fucking car! This is my special interest! Go away! Oh god. Should've just taken the road. Should've just taken the road. I'm okay. Well, we're going north. I doubt we'll survive. Uh... Holy shit. Headed to town. Wait, drive to the scenic overlook to get a view. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head toward town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Oh God, it's really bad. Wipers. No, 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 no. Oh my God. What's happening? I uh, should reach you driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone. You want to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using <laughs> Cappy to amplify the remnant signal that you see. I, I, I'm so dead. This is bad. How? Get? Are you on me? Get the fuck off! Son of a bitch! Okay, I don't want to take that yet, right? I gotta go here to the anomaly. Driver, are you sure about this? Well, that'll be fine. It's not fine. With those radiation spikes, that colossal cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about science. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. I'm not risking anyone's life. That car's clearly been protecting the newbie. Something special's going on beneath that hood. Besides, where's your sense of experimentation, Francis? Oh, th thanks. But I'm quite content to leave killing someone out of my definition of an experiment. Oh my god, what the hell is this? You guys mind? Dude! Get off. You're such a pain in my ass. Go, 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 go. I don't know what happened, but they're gone. Cool. This place is crazy. What the fuck is in these pipes? It's the biggest pipe I've ever seen in my life. Oh, gas station. Big dance. Yeah, I'm about half full. I need a refill. Dude, look at that thing. That's enough for me. Okay, do I need to repair? How is it looking? Yeah, I probably need to repair. I think we're okay for now. That doesn't look good at all. None of this looks safe. What the f What the fuck? I don't understand how the anomalies are doing. Like, what is, what is an anomaly in this case? I feel like I'm too far away for this to be it. I think it's around here. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, no response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to high ground? 
higher ground. Wait, I'm not supposed to be here? Dude, what is this place? I better hurry up. somewhere maybe that'll get you the height you need a bridge why thank you i don't know what's screaming at me but i need to get out of here wait the old bridge you're talking about the bridge that's currently taken over by the anomaly right is that what you're referring to because i think that might be taken over by the anomaly wait will this stop it if i destroy this what the fuck is going on dude how are they so casual about all this not stop it i might have to go by foot i feel like this is going to destroy my car I, I can't afford that right now okay i guess i could try and drive up there if i could just get past it like right around the edge right ooh, 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 ooh. I did. Art of sucks though car still not close enough to cappy what now how about uh Launching the car into Cappy's core. I, 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 I'm sorry. What? No, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly. And if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say. What's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kit for it. What is happening? Okay, open the barricade from the control pan. Oh, I'm up here already. Sweet. I hope I'm understanding that correctly. I gotta drive through that, launch into the anomaly. That's some gangster shit. Uh, I guess let's do it. There's speed things. There's speed things. Oh my god! Oh, that sucks. Damn it, you piece of crap. Come back on already. Can you hear me? Cappy fried my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. No. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car having sat dormant for this long will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. Good to know. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and charge some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. <laughs> 